It is a mess of a morning across America. More than 100 million Americans in the path of this first storm of 2014. Just look at the drive to work this morning. 22 states going to get hit with this one. And here's a live shot we have of Chicago. Look at the snow coming down. The huge storm moving east as we speak. Some snow already falling here in New York this morning. Roads everywhere are slick and thousands of flights already canceled or delayed this morning. It's how Mother Nature says Happy New Year. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back. Our Extreme Weather team on it all and let's get right to Ginger Z live outside in Times Square and Ginger it's coming. Oh it is coming. Day after New Year's, and you can see right here in Times Square still some of this confetti that's been a little bit uh, smushy and gross after the New Year. What I wanted to start with was Cleveland because the breadth of this storm is huge. You saw pictures from Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland this morning, a snowy, icky mess if you're going back to work or school. And here's what's going to happen with this storm because we are about 12 hours from the worst of it here in New York City. And I want to give you timing for everyone else. Through Pennsylvania it comes, and then it starts wrapping in the low that is going to go offshore, getting some the moisture so that's 6 p.m. but overnight is the worst of it from New York through Long Island which has a blizzard warning parts of Connecticut up through Boston and eventually Maine the big next question how much more snow as Chicago already had in some places more than a foot they're going to see some lake effect three to six inches with a ring around the lake and look at that Philadelphia just under four New York could see close to a half foot locally a lot of places a foot or more and certainly more in Boston it's going to come along with winds and behind it some of the cold Oldest air in decades. Chicago overnight lows by the end of the weekend, 13 below, and it gets even worse from there. That is exactly where we find our Gio Benitez this morning. He's in Rosemont, Illinois. Good morning. Well, good morning to you, Ginger. If this is what's heading your way, get ready. It is freezing. This may look like a winter land, wonderland, but don't worry about it. This is actually a nightmare for so many people here trying to drive through the area. You said it more than a foot of snow in some parts of the Chicagoland area. And take a look at what's happening all across this nation. A monster winter storm driving hard across the nation. It's pretty bad out there. With more than 20 states from Kansas to New England in the crosshairs. Three alarm fire in Sub Zero, Minneapolis. Rescue crews there battling the blaze and the bitter cold. Water from their hoses quickly freezing and coating everything it touches in solid ice. It's like working on a skating rink. Firefighters even hacking ice off their ladders. This train in eastern Iowa derailed after frosty temps warped the rails. Overnight, the Chicago area hit with its biggest snow of the season, up to a foot of white. It just keeps piling up and it just is not stopped. This car sliding right into a traffic light and a stop sign before slamming into the side of a store. And residents there using whatever they can find to clear the way. And the Northeast now bracing for the blow. Residents from Philly to Boston stocking up ahead of plummeting single-digit temps and blizzard-like conditions likely to hit some areas with more than two feet of snow. In Burlington, Vermont, salt is going fast. Most stores there already sold out. So here in Chicago, you know, this weather is supposed to just get even worse and worse throughout the day. But remember, this is the same exact system that's supposed to move all over the East Coast, as Ginger said, David. All right, we're warned. Gio Benina is in the middle of it all for us, Gio. We appreciate it. This is going to be a real mess, by the way, in the roads and in the air already this morning. Thousands of flights canceled, delayed. Let's get right to ABC's Mohammed Leela at New York's LaGuardia Airport for us this morning. Mohammed, good morning. Good morning to you, David. I'm live in the departures hall of LaGuardia Airport. All morning, we've been seeing a steady stream of passengers scrambling here, hoping their flights aren't delayed. You can see some of those passengers just over my shoulder here. Now, even though, as Ginger mentioned, New York so far hasn't been hit by this big blast of winter, that is not the case in a lot of other cities in America. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. So far, more than 1,700 flights have been delayed. More than 1,100 flights across the country have been canceled outright. Uh, ExpressJet, Commuter, and United are all leading the pack in terms of airlines that have so far been affected. In terms of airports, well, let's take a look. No surprises here. Newark's Liberty International, Chicago's O'Hare, and Cleveland International, the top three airports right now that are suffering from delays and outright cancellations. Now, as for New York's LaGuardia, one of the reasons you see behind me it's moving so well is because people have told me they've come here several hours ahead of time knowing that the storm was going to hit today. And clearly, David, on a day like today, that is some of the best travel advice there is. All right, Mohammed Lila at the airport for us this morning, Mohammed. Thanks.